Ranil Vikramasinghe not steal. Ranil Vikramasinghe was the chief planner of the Treasury bond transaction that led to the central bank bond scam. When Corp investigations were underway and when a Corp meeting was to take place in the evening, Ranil Vikramasinghe summoned the UNP members of the Corp committee to Temple Trees for a meeting. The meeting was chaired by Ranil Vikramasinghe. The former central bank governor Arjuna Mahindran also participated in this meeting. It was Arjuna Mahindran who prepared the answers for the questions that were to be raised during the Corp meeting. This is how everything was planned. The position of the Prime Minister is a license to steal public properties in our country. In 2011, former President Mahindra Rajapaksa brought in an act that includes provisions to pay pensions. Now, Vikramasinghe is attempting to bring back the EPF to Colombo Stock Exchange. The EPF belongs to the working public of Sri Lanka. How can Vikramasinghe make such decisions? Arjun Aloysius misappropriated the EPF funds when they were invested in the stock exchange between 2008 and 2012 during the Rajapaksa government. Following the Rajapaksa government, Arjun Aloysius, together with Ranil Vikramasinghe, defrauded the central bank in February 2015. Arjun Aloysius is now on bail and currently unoccupied. So investing EPF funds in the stock exchange will help keep Aloysius busy. What are they trying to do now? Elections are nearing. Ranil Vikramasinghe is trying to source funds for the upcoming elections through the re-entry of the EPF to stock exchange. In 2011, it was we who led the struggle against the Rajapaksa government who had a two-third majority. Therefore, we make this very clear. We will not allow the Vikramasinghe government to invest the EPF funds in the stock exchange. <laughs> Kisi se tata tiyan na